Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number five from the um, October, November 2016, the Cambridge International A Level 9709, Paper 1, um, Variant 2. This is a question um, which is also a question from one of my endotopic worksheets on straight line graphs. This is question three from that worksheet. And here we're told about the line x over a plus y over b equals 1, where a and b are positive constants, intersects the x and y axes at the points a and b, respectively. The midpoint of a, b lies on the line 2x plus y equals 10, and the distance a, b equals 10, find the values of a and b. So first of all, for us to answer this question, we are told about um, the midpoint of AB lying on the line 2x plus y equals 10, and the distance between A and B equals 10. So, of course, the first step here would be to, be find, to find the coordinates of A and B. So, they told us that A is on the x-axis, and they've told us that B is on the y-axis. Okay, and we know that on the x-axis, y equals 0, and on the y-axis, x equals 0. Right, so if I take the equation of the line x over a plus y over b equals 1, and if I replace x with 0, I'm going to find where it hits the y axis. And if I place y with 0, I'm going to find where it hits the x axis. So when x is 0, this whole term becomes 0. I'm left with y over b equals 1, which means that y equals b. So that means that the place where it hits the y-axis, which is the point B, is going to be 0 and small b. And when y equals 0, I know that basically this term becomes 0, so I'm left with x over a equals 1, which means x equals a, which tells us that the coordinates of the point a are small a and 0. Okay, so those are the coordinates of a and b. So that's the first step. Now, I know that the midpoint... The midpoint of AB is going to be given by the x-coordinate of A plus the x-coordinate of B divided by 2. That's, a, that's going to be the x-coordinate of the midpoint, and the y-coordinate will be the y-coordinate of A plus the y-coordinate of B divided by 2. So I need to find the midpoint because that lies on this line they told us about. So that's in terms of A, that's pretty simple. It's just going to be uh, the midpoint of A and B is going to be... Um, a plus 0 over 2 and 0 plus B over 2, which is going to give us A over 2 and B over 2. So that's the midpoint of AB. Okay. And we're told that that lies on the line 2x plus y equals 10. So 2x plus y equals 10. We know that this point lies on that line. Okay. So what does it mean when it lies on that line? Well, it means that this point will satisfy the equation of the line. So if I replace x with a over 2 and b, y with b over 2, it will make the equation true. So that will give me one equation from which I can try to find the values of a and b. So if I replace the x with um, a over 2, I'll have 2 times a over 2. And then the y with b over 2, so I have just b over 2 equals 10. So the 2 cancel with the 2 here. So I'm left here with a plus b over 2 equals 10. So I'm dealing with integers to make life easier. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2, in which case it will be 2a plus b equals, oops, 2a plus b equals 20. Okay, so that's, you can say that's one equation I formed from the information given. All right, so we found the information about the midpoint. They've also told us that the distance between a and b is 10. So I know that the magnitude, the distance between the line A and B is equal to 10. And we know that point A was A0 and point B was B0. So I also know to find the distance between two points. I'm going to use the length formula, which is basically using Pythagoras. And it's the difference between the x coordinates, xA minus xB squared, plus the difference between the y coordinates, yA minus yB squared. So in this case, that's going to be the square root of, now, xA is, is going to be A, so A minus 0 squared plus 0 minus B squared. In the end, you end, end up with the square root of A squared plus B squared. 
And I know that the magnitude of AB equals 10, so I can say that the square root of A squared plus B squared equals 10, which means if I square both sides, A squared plus B squared equals 100. So I'm gonna call this equation two. So what I can do is I can take equation one and two, 2A plus B equals 20, that's equation one. What I can do is I can solve them simultaneously and I'll find the value or values of A and B. So I can do take B, make it the subject, that's 20 minus 2A, and take this value of B and substitute into this equation instead of B. So I have A squared plus, instead of B, I'm going to write 20 minus 2A squared equals 100. So now once I've done that, I've eliminated the B, and I've only got A's, and I can solve for A now. So I've got A squared plus 20 squared is 400, and I'm going to have minus, you multiply these together, that gives you 40, doubled is 80, so negative 80A, and then square the last term, that's going to give you plus 4A squared, and that's equal to 100. So let's see, we've got a quadratic equation in A now, so let's um, combine the like terms. So we've got 5A squared minus 80A, and 400 minus 100 is 300, plus 300 equals 0. Again, we can see this can be simplified if we divide by 5. Then all of these terms, of course, 5 goes into them. You have a squared minus 80 divided by 5 is 16. 16a plus 30 divided by 5. Well, 5 goes into the 6, 6, 6 times 30, 6 times, so it's going to be 60 equals 0. So now we have something which we can try to factorize. So I think I'm going to have two brackets. Okay, and I have a, both negative, because the sum, uh, so it's a minus and a minus. And two numbers multiplied to give you 60. And I have to give you negative 16, well, 10 times 6 is 6, so it's negative 10 and negative 6. So therefore, we can say A is equal to 10 and also is equal to 6. So now we can find what B is. I'll just use this space over here. We know that B is equal to 20 minus 2 times 10, which is 0. So we can say that when A equals 10, B equals 0. Okay, and B is equal to 20 minus 2 times 6, which is 20 minus 12, which is 8. And so that means, therefore, um, when A equals 6, B equals 8. So here we have the, the values of A and B in group together, which satisfy these two equations. And so we have found the values of A and B for which the original statements are true. So when A is 10 and B is 0, this will happen. Then this... The midpoint of this line um, would be on that line 2x plus y equals 10 and the distance between a and b would be 10 okay so there we have the answer to that question okay so um, hopefully that was clear All right so basically li like a lot of these questions they give us information in order for us to be able to form two equations and here we have one simultaneous one one equation is quadratic well not really quadratic but it's not a linear equation and the other one is a quadratic is a linear equation and we we take the linear equation make the letter that's easy to make the subject the subject and then substitute that into the other equation to eliminate one of the variables and get what you want so there's the answer to that question i hope that was clear thank you for watching other questions from this particular paper um, will be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here. Other questions from this end of topic worksheet on straight line graphs in the end of the, in the playlist over here. Other questions about straight line graphs in general from um, Cambridge P1 can be found in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.